Hey everyone, Vintage Fan Collector here, and tonight on Fan Testing 2 Electric Boogaloo, we have another interesting fan. This yes. is an early 80s chunk. G well, I guess it's not really a G even. It's a little Antica. So I guess they're related to Coda. And it is very heavy. It has a pretty large motor in it. The downside is the blade arms have virtually no blade pitch, so it doesn't really move as much air as I was expecting. It's a lot of love chunk. I didn't realize that until after, you know, I took to put it up and everything. But it's 42 inches. I got this in my neighborhood for a total of $10. It did have a light kit. It was a Westinghouse turtle fitter and brush nickel. It didn't match. And it has a Harbor Breeze fan chain and kind of a satiny antique brass. It actually works pretty well. It looks nice with it, actually, to be honest. So I'll go ahead and start it off on low speed. So I'm not sure what I'll do about these arms. They seem kind of hard to bend. Like, if you bend them, they'll probably snap then. Of course, I only tried for like 0 0.2 yeah, seconds. Yeah, apparently these are notorious for having their arms being able to be broken. I've heard that. So, I'm not sure. I guess they decided to detune, if you will, the smaller fan to move somewhat appropriate 42-inch fan airflow, unlike, for instance, the Lady Delta or the uh, Premium Petite where they do not care. <laughs> and I guess the Ventura in Four Seasons as well. But it has a nice low speed. It's a cool little fan. I'm glad to finally have one of these. And the noise you hear in the background is a teal GE fan from the 50s. The GE standard and then on my side we have a Westinghouse Lively Air. The Westinghouse is so dang quiet. The GE is a loud one. Probably do the metal blades, maybe. Yeah. Or just because, you know, you <laughs> need. Anyway, so here's Good the enough. It does go r rather fast on high speed, but since the blade pitch is like maybe 10 degrees, if that, honestly, it looks like less. It doesn't move a ton of air. I wonder if heating those brackets up would help any. Maybe. I bet you I could probably just change them out for something else uh, that has the same hole pattern. I believe it looks to be Casablanca hole pattern and Hunter original hole pattern. No, because when I held oh. the original blade up, it skipped a hole. Oh, okay. So then it's smaller. All right. But one of my favorite things about this is the four-inch switch housing with the bottom screws, just like a Casablanca fan or something. Pretty much all of these imported chunky fans from the early 80s and even late 70s had this kind of switch housing. Not sure if Antique is actually the OEM or if somebody else made these. It kind of looks like a possibly a Tyeb product, maybe. I, don't I think Tyeb wouldn't. I don't even think Tyeb was their own OEM. Imports are so confusing. I know man. imports are confusing. Anyway, here's high speed. Very satisfying pull chain too. Speed. And it is, like I said, quite fast, but it doesn't move as much air as I expected. It still moves a good amount of air, don't get me wrong. But I was kind of underwhelmed. And it's possible that some of the, uh, well, yeah, it's still not that great. I was going to say it's possible the portable fans throw it off, but not really. Yeah. I mean, we can try for science, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, might as well. Let's see. All of a sudden, I can actually feel a breeze from it. Yeah, actually, it does move more air now. Okay, so then, yeah, the portable fans are just kind of throwing off the physics of the air, which is common, I guess. That's not too bad. It's better than it was, so I'll give it that. I still think the blade pitch is a little too shallow. Oh, that made a difference. It did. I agree. Science pays off, everyone! Stay science in school! Science rules! Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill! 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 I'm not it was only three times. Bill! 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Shows you what I know. Science rules. Please consider the following. 
<laughs> ah, childhood. I probably opened a bunch of y'all's memories. I don't know how old my the demographics of my viewership is. Oh. Huh? Something is scraping. Must be probably some of the felt maybe on the top. I don't know. Weird. Mark El Noizo. Voice like, crack. Regardless, it's a brilliant little fan. I guess it is better than I initially thought due to the portal fans being on. Now, as you can see, somebody has hit this while they were cleaning, and it unfortunately hit all five blades. There is a significant scuff mark in that part of each blade, and it seems the bearings might be partially on their way out. And that is a quick stop, even for a small fan. But overall, it's not too bad. $10 was totally worth it. It is definitely not the prettiest fan cosmetics-wise, but it's not Who cares? It's a workhorse. Yeah, and I would like to hopefully kind of clean this up a little bit more and put it up somewhere someday. Imagine this with Baby Kane. Yes. Tight weave, too. I mean, uh. Yeah, it does probably... I could probably source new blades. The blade arms do look like they might fit Casablanca blades, so that opens a bit of possibilities for stuff I already I have. do actually concur with that assessment. So I would say that it probably could have Casablanca blades. Arms I'd have to find from somewhere else. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your small whatever time of day you're watching this. Take care.